and welcome back to What If. And today's What If, the new What If, and we'll see if this is a one-shot or at least a two-shot, it's not going beyond those, is from Mor Morrog, who asked the question, What if Gohan's rage boosts were permanent? Now, to answer this question, or to go into this topic, we have to at least address what, con what constitutes a rage boost, and more importantly, which one of those rage boosts would be permanent. Because something like this that you get in the dead zone, or what he did against Raditz, or what he did against Vegeta, or what he did against Frieza later down the road, would definitely be a rage boost. But transforming into Super Saiyan, the catalyst for that is rage, but that's not a rage boost. That is something different. So, when looking at this what if, I have to admit, I can't treat Super Saiyan forms like rage boosts. That's just not what those are. But... If you were to say get a rage boost in a Super Saiyan form, like what Vegeta did against Beerus, that could count towards your overall increased base. But let's get into it. So, we would have to start after the fact of Rads. Gohan's power is calculated, roughly speaking, after the fact that 1,307. So, that would be his new base. Now, his training with Piccolo would begin. And... The problem here is that Gohan barely got increased at all. His actual power is around 724, I think, or 725. I can't remember what it was. More or less, he went up to like 924. He didn't really get a big power boost. But the point of the training wasn't to boost his powers, to give him more survival training, actually teach him martial arts. Add on to the fact also, we don't know how much training Piccolo did to get to that 3,500 prior to continuing Gohan's training. I'm going to just angle this a little bit differently. There we go. Uh, prior to Gohan's training. So, could Gohan's stronger level of power help Piccolo out? I don't personally think it would, and if it did, it wouldn't be enough to like really change much. He Instead of being 3,500, he might be like 3,006 or 3,700. Something like that. Enough that he could, he could close the gap a little bit with Nappa, but enough that Nappa would still have the edge. I think for even numbers, we could definitely put Gohan's base at 1,500. I think that's easy. Because he still would get a little stronger. But then we go into the Saiyan saga when Vegeta and Rad show or Ra, Vegeta and Rad, Vegeta and Nappa show up. And sadly, nothing changes until the death of Piccolo. Because Golan's personality has not changed here. But at Piccolo's death, that's when he gets the rage boost. And he went from 924 to over 3,000. I do remember that. Um, roughly speaking. And that's rough, that is in the ballpark of about a 3.3-ish uh, 3 times multiplier. Granted, it does read it, uh, use it with the Masenko at about 2,800, but if I remember correctly, it was like over 8,000, or 8,000, over 3,000. So 3.3 times multiplier is where you could put uh, Gohan. And this is where things start to vary just a little bit. His blast hits, that Basically, he almost puts his power up to an even five grand. It puts that in 4,950. Again, even numbers. Easy numbers will just say five grand. That When that mistake uh, comes towards him, Vegeta yells out to that, Get out of the way, you idiot! What? Ah! And he, and he hits him. 5,000 is not enough to just vaporize his arm or anything, but it's enough that his arm's probably like limp, dead, and Nappa just comes in and just kind of crashes into uh, crash into Gohan, who at this point is tired out like just because that's his new base does not mean he is all fresh and ready to go so he still wails on go on after the fact and gohan's down for the count krillin's down for the count goku shows up gives him some senzus and then everything else kind of goes about the same including gohan going coming back turning into the ape turning back into go on because vegeta would just cut his tail again and getting probably about two zenkais out of that uh, because Gohan's power went from 924 uh, to 1500 by the time they got to Namek. That means he gained probably two Zenkais out of that. Which would put his power, roughly speaking at this point, <clears throat> if we're going to go by how Goku improved, roughly speaking of course, uh, I would say it would put his power somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000. Roughly. He's about the same as his dad. So they go to Namek. They go to get the Dragon Balls, try to help everyone. And again... Nothing is Gohan's power is more much more impressive here than it is in canon by a long margin. He could take on Frieza soldiers no problem, but he would still get his teeth kicked in by Dodoria or um, Zarbon, Frieza, all of them, Queen even. 
so they still have to do the same strategy. I think one of the other down, uh, uh, he, not downsides, side effects of Gohan's having permanent boosts from his rage is he kind of in a permanent, not a permanent state of anger. He's a lot more gung ho. He's a lot more reactionary. He's a lot more. He's a, it's easier for his anger to get the better of him. Not quite to a Broly level, but it's a lot easier for him to just go get quick and be quicker to anger. Eventually, Krillin goes, gets his potential unlocked, and then Gohan goes and gets his potential unlocked. And Vegeta senses this, like, oh, what? And then he says, that, that's impossible, his power. How did how did that brat... He he couldn't even take Raditz on. No, he couldn't even take Nap on. What? what now, he's, now he's this strong? Ah! Uh, yeah, you better back off. Right now, go on, uh, right now, Vegeta. Uh, and then, just as now he's trying to figure out his next play, he senses the Ginyu Force showing up. And here, they work together, because he has the Dragon Ball, and the difference here is that Gohan can easily bench his ass. Like, just, boom, sit your ass down. Like, he could, he could just, like that, and just, boom, that Vegeta done. Like, he did not do anything. Vegeta knows this, and knows Gohan does not like it, especially after the gut shot he got from him. Um... So, they're debating some things a little bit until the Ginyu show up. And, at the moment, their powers are suppressed, because we know that for a fact, but just as, you know, the time freezes, Goldo gets the other ball. Was it Burner or Goldo? Uh, I think both of them did it. Burner uh, takes one of the balls, and then Goldo freezes time, gets the other ball. And then Gohan as gets starts getting angry. It's like, get those back now! It's like, Oh, isn't that cute? Boys, take care of the little brat. It's like, right. It goes like, yeah. I said, give it back. And then he go on, just powers up. It's like, huh? And it's like, what? Go on. Uh, uh, damn, it looks like we don't have any choice here. Then he's like, right. Uh, powers up. Uh, and go on, goes full out. Now, at this point, he's now probably more like at a 90,000. And he just comes in after Ginyu. Just, huh, uh, what the hell? This kid's power level's off the charts. It's like, nine, is it 90,000? And then you put it. He's now pressuring Ginyu. He's like, what, what the hell? Uh, how is he able to fight Captain Ginyu like that? I, I don't know. Uh, his power level. It's like, it's, 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 it's insane. 90, no, it's getting, it's getting higher. What the hell? And that would be the thing. They reach his full potential. He'd be probably fighting like a Saiyan does. And the Zenkai's probably out too. But if if you were to get one. Meanwhile, Krillin and Vegeta is like, Well, the distracted! Right! And it's like, Come on, come on, fire! Come on, hands! And Golda doesn't make it out, almost doesn't make it out until he holds his breath. And you It's like, Ah! Uh, well, that wasn't really nice. Well, now, that wasn't really nice, was it? Uh, was it better? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. What do you think, Raccoon? Um, I, I could now I could do either my abridged world well, Raccoon thinks this, or I could do um dubbed where I was like, well, I think we should really have a good time. We should have some fun with these guys for being kind of rude. Uh, my my canon voice is not as good as my uh, abridged voice. Uh, now, so which one of them is it? Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. I want Vegeta, and then Vegeta just kills kill them pretty quick. Um. Oh, like, oh, you you better be ready. Oh, you better be prepared, Vegeta. Because the name's Rakum, and it rhymes with doom. And you're going to be hurting, brother. And so Krillin and Vegeta try their best to um, to beat Rakum. And they get some good shots on him, but it's just not enough. They're just not strong enough. Meanwhile, go on is actually now basically evened out with uh, Ginyu and even started to, uh, to uh, surpass him. And Ginyu's like, how is this kid this strong? Will you just die? <laughs> then, you know, Gohan just... Uh, uh, <laughs> and so, now, with a rage boost like kind of like this, uh, I think really what it does is just push his potential to its peak pretty quick. And his peak, at this point, doing the math on what his actual potential really was, not including the Zenkai, puts him at about 1.2 million, which puts him well above anyone on this planet right now. 
Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, what? Ah! And kills Gain, the ball's going out. Captain! Uh, who else wants some? <laughs> uh, and then they see the ship come down, and Goku can sense the energy. Whoa, is that Gohan's? His, his power's unreal! And so he gets over there, and gets over there quick. Go on! It's like, Dad! Dad! It's you! Uh, who are they? You're this little one's father! You're just the monster just killed our little, our Captain Ginyu and Gildo! We don't really care about him, but Captain Ginyu! Uh, well, I don't really know who the, who Ginyu is, but you got, but uh, I assume if you're fighting, you guys are trouble. Yeah, and they explain this, they work for Freeze, does it? All right, well, I'm gonna give you guys one chance. Get the hell out of here now. Is it, um, is, and Burner and, uh, please, this is all just a fluke. You can't ri mess with me. You can't mess, uh, you can't stop Raccoon. It rides with Doom and you're gonna poo. And then Goku is the one. Just, okay, you talk a lot. <laughs> and then when Vegeta finally is all healed up, he kills, uh, Raccoon straight out. But... Now we're in an interesting little scenario here. The Ginyu's just hightailing out of there. Basically, they actually go to find uh, Frieza is what they do. And with this, I mean, they go immediately to Frieza and it's like, what? what? What's going on? It, it, Captain Ginyu, he's, he's go back, raccoon! And it's like, uh, so there's these, those kids, those medley, or, uh, those other, those meddlers or whatever they are, whatever they called them. Um, those humans, I don't know. They think they're humans. They don't know that they're Saiyans. The only Saiyan they know of right now is, uh, Vegeta. But, um, they just, they, you know, they, they did, they killed his, killed Ginyu? And that, should I assume that's where my Dragon Balls are? Yes, Lord Breeze! Should probably, should probably pay a visit. Meanwhile, they get the dragon ready. Now, Dende is, um, I can't remember actually if Dende was there or not. I don't think he was, but they do. Vent I think they fly off, get Dende, or get Nail, or get just a Namekian. They go, they go basically to uh, the Guru's place. To, I use the Dragon Balls, and they use it, bring back Piccolo, bring him back to life. Um, now here they could basically just bring him to the planet if they so choose. Uh, and then they basically, and knowing that uh, Guru's dying, like, well, why can't we just wish you for your health back? All right, uh, all right. And uh, Guru probably is something always like, I would never make a wish for myself, but I will not. I will not reject such hospitality or some, some such kindness. And so they wait not not for his youth, mind you, just for his health. This isn't like restoring his youth kind of Guru, but he does restore a uh, Guru's health. It's like mm, I feel like a young Namaki again. Some of his wrinkles probably he probably doesn't like de-age completely, but he looks a lot more vibrant and healthier. It's like you. So you, um, uh, Saiyan warrior, come here. I can sense a pure heart within you. But in, um, as I did for your son and your friend, please accept this offering. And like, whoa! And Goku gets his potential unlocked, which we know his potential, we know his base was around 90. I've always argued he's probably around, like, at times 50 altogether, which would put his base now at somewhere in the neighborhood, if I do my math correctly real quick, 4.5 million for a base. Pretty pretty solid base, all things considered. He's a li he's definitely stronger than he was in the in the original series. The dragon dissipates, goes away, and they sense the power coming. And Frieza's just oh, Frieza. It's like wait, so this is Frieza. He's not that strong. I mean, he was uh, he was. I mean, he's pretty strong, but I mean, at this point, me and Gohan could take him no problem. It's not his full power. He's a monster, Kakarot. He destroyed our planet. I'm like, oh, really? Is he that, he's that strong, huh? Interesting. All right, then. And, it's like, mm, and so I was like, oh, so you're the meddling, meddling opera. Who are you exactly? I'm Goku. I'm a Saiyan from Earth. Another Saiyan? Wait. Is that your offspring? Yes, that's my son. Like, oh, jeez. I'm losing my touch of genocide here. Here. So tell me, then, what have you done with my Dragon Balls? Oh, we already made our wishes. You're done. You already made my wishes you already made your wishes are you saying that the useless now that's exactly you're never gonna get your wish now <laughs> oh did you hear that boys the good user there too the remaining good news i'm never gonna get my wish hmm. well that just makes me absolutely livid
<laughs> he just gets out of his chair. Very well, then. Uh, apparent, apparently, boy, you're supposed to be very strong. Uh, is your fat daddy just as strong, too? You were able to kill Ginyu, after all. Let's see how strong you really are. And he comes in, and then Goku just... And, go, and uh, it's like, watch out. It's like, I, and Gohan just like... Mm, and Gohan smacks him down. Just, oh. oh, you... I see. So, you are quite impressive. And when the Gohan just... You burning son of, And you burning son of a bitch! And Gohan's just letting loose on him. He's like, whoa, I don't know where he gets that from. Um... And such so, ah, God, wait! I, this isn't even this is my full power yet. Wouldn't you want to fight me at my I don't give a rest! Yes. <laughs> go on just oh, Um Well, I mean we really she was like go up and pickle or immediately just tries to say, Goku, don't even think about it. Like, well, I mean just, uh, he's right. There's no re he's this man is a monster. If he really is hiding power, we have no reason to just push the envelope here. Oh, but I mean I really was hoping for No It's like Aw and Gohan basically kills Frieza outright on the planet. Uh and so that would be the end there, except Guru also does Piccolo a kindness and he's not gonna fuse with Nail, but he's gonna get his potential unlocked also. And for easy uh easy story easier storytelling, I think that would put him, roughly speaking, where he is in the canon at that point. When he gets back to Earth, so everyone just you know is bids adieu. They head back to Earth. I think they even let Vegeta tag along too. It's like, well, I mean, you don't really have a place to go. And besides, like it always gives a good uh, smart brother. I swear I'll kill you one of these days, Kaka. <laughs> well, good luck. And so they head back to Earth. No yard rat, nothing. Dynamic saved. They even make the promise to. Um, uh, they even make the uh, agreement to. Wish back uh, the Namekians that were killed by Freeze Group with the Earth Dragon Balls. And through a combination of Namek and Earth, through a, like a joint relationship, they wish everyone who needed to be wished for a back, back. So in that year's time between then and when Freeze normally was showing up, <clears throat> Goku's probably gotten a little stronger. No Super Saiyan. Gohan's probably stayed about the same as he hasn't really been training. And at least no training that would increase his power. Training enough to maybe just keep himself at a basic level of power. But then the Frieza issue arises. And here it's not Frieza. I imagine it is King Cold who shows up. Because word travels fast in this kind of space. And, you know, you find your son's dead. You're going to, uh, you're going to be taking a trip to the place you believe it happened. And so he goes. And he, now he may have went to Damic first. They Namek might not be around anymore, but they use the Earth Dragon Balls to bring back everything that happened there after what after finding out. Com, uh, King Kai probably lets them know about that. Then the King Cold's coming to Earth. Trunks shows up, takes out King Cold and his forces, and talks to Goku. And it's like, I need you to turn into a Super Saiyan for me. And Goku's like, a, a Super what? <laughs> it's like, wait, what? You can't you can't do that? You can't turn into a super... What's, wait, what's going on in the timeline? It's, of course you can turn into a super... That's how you killed Frieza, right? Oh, no, I didn't kill Frieza. Go on, killed Frieza. Wait, what? And now Trunks would be freaking out. Oh, man, did I mess up the timeline? But wait, no, there's Dad and there's Mom. This doesn't make any sense. Um, is everything okay? I should still probably tell them regardless. All right, listen up. In three years' time, two killer androids are going to come out and wipe out pretty much all of the population. And so he tells them about them. And he shows off Super Saiyan, and Trot and Vegeta's like, what is this? Can't be. Look, that hair, those eyes. Could it be the, the Saiyan of legend, the Super Saiyan? But who is this brat? And yeah, he kind of relays it, gives Goku the heart medicine, and basically says, good luck with training and all that. And Piccolo and everyone agrees, we need to train. And in those three years... I see Goku, after seeing the Super Saiyan form, getting an idea for what it kind of felt like coming off him, training and accessing the Super Saiyan form. Uh, I, um, I I do think he could get the Super Saiyan form. I'd even argue that Gohan could get the Super Saiyan form. And like I said, I am not counting Super Saiyan transformations as rage boosts. Those are not those are not rage boosts. Vegeta still gets knocks up Bulma, F's off, probably goes into space, trains, gets Super Saiyan on his own. And really, at this point, power-wise, I actually don't see any real clear-cut differences with most of the Android saga at this point. In fact, I would go so far as to say 
that until maybe training for Cell, that I would not, that there wouldn't be any real clear cut difference. The clear cut differences start to become more training at the hyperbolic time chamber for a year would probably lead to a couple rage boosts in training. Not just super, we know for a fact, we did see some of that a little bit. Like Okan couldn't access his full power, but he did rage boost a little bit every now and then. So I could see this go on having a, a much stronger Super Saiyan form than his dad ultimately. Now, because he's still a pacifist, generally speaking, even though he's a lot more prone to anger, he's still a pacifist. I don't know if he can still fully beat Cell, but the fact that he's more willing to give into his rage means that, and more willing to give into anger a bit more, means that it's easier for him to boost and get stronger and just go all out. So the question just becomes then, will he just turn Super Saiyan 3, 2, or will he kill Cell outright as is? I think while he's stronger than Cell, it wouldn't be by a large enough margin to just do what he did originally and just overwhelm him. I still think he'd get the Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Unfortunately, uh, this leads to a problem. And that is there is no instant transmission in this version. Because Goku didn't go to Yardrat. And so, uh, I still see Gohan having a bit of the arrogance there. And not killing him when he want, should have. Uh, be, maybe, because even though he gave into Rage, he gave into Rage to turn into Super Saiyan 2 in this version, and he just got completely full of himself. On his, he was high and as drunk in his own power. And he has, and then he brings it, then hold on, I'm not clipping the wings off this, bu uh, this butterfly yet. I did with my dad and Vegeta did. What is this shit, genetic? Like, yeah. And so, um, unfortunately... There's not much they can do because they, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they did... No, actually, they did have the Dragon Balls available. So, there is an argument to be made. They could use the Dragon Balls to wish Cell away. Just wish him into a star or something like that and blow, him at, blow his ass up. That is an argument you could make they could do. It had to be done in really, qui really quick. It had to be done super quick. But that's not impossible. For the sake of the containing of the story, we can use that out. We'll use that out. And so, fast forward now to down the road, and Go Goku would still be alive. Probably has also got Super Saiyan 2. Maybe he's even pushing the Super Saiyan 3 envelope at this point. Gohan has probably stayed about the same streak. No rage boosts have been, probably happened. But he has also probably acquired Super Saiyan 2. His darkness is a lot more curved because Goku's there. And Gohan's there, and he finds Gohan a pretty formidable adversary as well. But Gohan was really just uh, going to school, training for school, <laughs> training for school, studying for school, and he didn't train very much. With Goku there, he'd at least keep his skills up. Goten would also be a lot stronger by uh, by comparison. Um, and <clears throat> the next time you would see Gohan getting a rage boost that would matter would be in the tournament uh, when he saw Videl getting messed up. That would be that was a, probably a rage boost right there. It wasn't just transforming out of anger. That was a rage boost. So when he transforms to show off Kibito, to Kibito, he is stronger than Canon Teen Gohan against Cell, who was at and this Gohan was oh god okay so Gohan against Cell was stronger than Gohan against Kibito in in the Boo arc, but the Boo arc Gohan was fifty percent of Boo's power. So that would probably put Boo now at about 60. I'm going to go 65%. That's, that means that, yeah, they're, uh, Boo might wake up in this version. I'll admit, I actually didn't write past this part. I'm actually now just winging, going on the fly with this what if at the moment. We're only at 24 minutes, so I figured why not go to the full 30. Um, oh, pardon. So... You would get, obviously, Deborah would still turn, kill Kibito, turn Piccolo and Krillin to stone. Vegeta would fight Pui, or Pui Pui. Then nothing happens there. Yakon fights Goku, nothing happens there. Gohan fights Deborah. And Gohan is stronger than Deborah. And he hasn't lost any of that training in the, compared to the original one, when they even con and mentioned that. And does, and because he still has that, that rage chip on it, that inner desire to kind of convert to rage sometimes i think the rage comes out when he remembers what happened to krillin and piccolo and he blasts his ass away eventually just they fight it out for a good a, a bit deborah is still very powerful but 
No, he ultimately wastes Tabora, and then they basically and he just blasts the whole to the bottom of the ship. Boo would have probably be at like 75% at this point, which is still not enough to wake him up. And Bobby tries to stop them. He maybe even tries to wake up Boo. But, and I spoke too soon, I think that Boo would not be woken up. I think they would stop Bobby in this case. And so, yeah, that would be the end of that. Uh, otherwise, Rage Boost? Let's, I mean, would, would what really changes now at this point? There's no ultimate Golan, which, which is still much stronger than the Golan we have right now. Um, you would uh, go to the universe, you'd go to the super arcs. Golan does not play a big factor in this. He's got, he's probably dating Videl though. Um, because it's still believed that Hercules saved the world here. <clears throat> He's still married to Videl. They have a kid on the way. Uh, Goku maybe has Super Saiyan 3 at this point. He still gets Super Saiyan God. Gohan. Gohan could participate, though, in the Universe 6 tournament. There is that option. And you can make that, have that option over Boo, because Boo's not there. So, would it matter? Not really. Would it still be fun that him fighting Kama? That'd be a fun fight. He could be more of like a big brother than a sensei figure to him. The Goku Black Arc. Nothing would change with that either, because Gohan didn't have any big, massive factors in that either. The Universe 6 Tournament. Goku did, Gohan did play a big factor there. The problem is, is that he doesn't have his ultimate power, ultimate form back. So while he's probably still kept training, and still probably very powerful. Maybe also even learning Super Saiyan 3 after a while. Does not really... Doesn't really help... I wouldn't go so far as to say that it, if he has Super Saiyan 3, I wouldn't go so far as to say that nothing, that it changes anything drastically, though. If he's got Super Saiyan 3, and we know he's very intelligent in how he uses his power, I don't think it would really change many outcomes. Gohan would be conservative with the Super Saiyan 3 form. Uh, and he'd still probably make it to taking out Dispo. And then you get Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And I'm gonna, and I again, I'll be straight out honest. I think the reason Gohan has that form is a combination of being a hybrid with that potential, that inner beast, as it's called the mode, and having the uh, the uh, his inner potential unlocked by the Kai's. Without that, I don't think Beast Gohan's mode is attained. I don't think so because he was in that mode, he was in that form when he transformed. It clearly must have been a factor. So. Is Gohan able to, you know, surpass, or does he maybe get like a different variant of the Beast form, uh, you know, pushing past his Super Saiyan three? Maybe does he go into a Super Saiyan four form or something like that? Um, I don't know. I guess that's possible, uh, <clears throat> or something along it, it because Gohan's still there. He still say he's still par very powerful. Maybe at some point they do offer to unlock his um, potential to Kai's, perhaps. But the problem is, Elder Kai is never resurrected, I just realized. I, I've been going through all this, and I said that out loud, but I'm like, ooh, no, Elder Kai is still in the Z-Sword. So, but then again, it is still come, it still comes down to the scenario I mentioned in the previous Dragon Ball Z What If, where even if the world is destroyed and, no, and they fail, Beerus and Whis and Goku and, Go and Vegeta will find out about that and be like, oh no we better go get the Dragon Balls. <laughs> and they'll bring everyone back and then they'll take care of Cell Max. So, no matter what, if they either they beat Cell Max or they don't, the world's so, oh, screwed and then they go back and use the Dragon Balls and reverse things or we does a time reverse or whatever. Either way, it's uh, it's taken care of. Deus Ex Machina, if you will. So, hey, I got this down in one. Did I go forth or some stuff? Sure. But... Kind of, as you can kind of tell based on <clears throat> how it kind of played, even if I had pushed it to two, I really wouldn't have been, there really wouldn't have been much to do with Gohan in this uh, version. If his rage boost were permanent, he would be stronger. He might be, and he'd be, he'd be a little closer to a Broly, but nowhere near as close, nowhere near Broly entirely. But not to the point where it would be. It would be, you know, insane. Because Gohan's rage boosts lessened as the series went on. He, they were a lot more prominent when he was a kid, and his emotions were a lot more in flux. Again, against Reds, against Nappa, against Frieza, I think several times. 
um, against the androids. But then, and then if you want to count the whole cell thing, sure. But then once you hit um, hit a teen go on, oh, like adult teen go on, there was almost no rage boost at all with that character. So <clears throat> ultimately, that is this what if. It's a one shot. So we'll do the next uh, one we, that was in the voting, uh, that was in the poll next week. The what if the Dragon Balls worked, the Earth Dragon Balls worked the same way that the Mechian Dragon Balls worked. That one, I have some ideas for. Uh, this one, I'm like, okay, this is pretty much just a how strong can we make the character? Surprisingly, not as strong as you may think kind of video. So until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks for the next one.